Obviously, we won't talk about your uh, slight incident. We probably should, actually. Well, I think we'll, here. Well, we probably should. We'll, we'll probably talk about that bit, yeah. but maybe not the other bit. You know, what's the because, other bit? What's because the other at the bit? end of the day, George, like we always say, what happens on tour stays on tour. <laughs> well, so good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning show from Villamora, Dan. Villamora, and it's been a, a an interesting week. We're here with golfing days. We've done a, an amazing pro am. We've had three subscribers from the channel that have come out with us to enjoy three, well, four fantastic days on three amazing golf courses here in Villamora. My yeah. first visit, your first visit yeah. to Villamora. Your dad even said that Villamora Old Course is probably one of his favorites. His favorite course of the lot, yeah. It's so tight. And you, you get something different with each of the courses, I think. You've got a lot yeah. of water on the Victoria, which is where we're filming today, as you can yeah. see in the background. Old Course, very tight, very trees. You know, you've got to be really tactical about where you're going off the tee boxes. And then obviously the Pinal, again, really good challenge. Which so. is Penal. Penal. Can be quite penal, penal. in certain situations. <laughs> What's for you, Dan? On it. So I'm not going to give away the scores because ultimately we want you to watch what's kind of gone on. But um, as, as a venue, as a facility, as, an, um, well, as a golf, like Villa Mora is potentially golf town. But I can't believe no one Absolutely. picked up on that and said golf town, you know, this is where it happens. No. I thought Turkey was golf town, but this place it's, is pretty much golf town, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I haven't been to anywhere like this quite yet, where you've got all the hotels are kind of related to each other. You've got four fantastic golf courses. Yeah. Like they're not just kind of thrown together. They are, you know, they're really, really good. We've got obviously the Portuguese masters held around here. Yes. So that's the standard of golf course. And you know, you get shuttles from your, each hotel to each golf course. Everything's linked. It's a like, it oh, golf town. It Amazing. I've never, it's and like Disney. It's it, like Disney. It, it literally is like Disney for, for golf. golf. Yeah. 30 under par. No. Jordan Smith shot 30 under par, which is a, don't get me wrong, it's a European tour, DP World Tour, like um, history. It's the lowest score it's ever been created in, oh. in that. I mean, if you shot 27 under par and finished second round here, you'd be pretty, um, you'd be pretty disappointed. How? How's that happened? You? Yeah. Um, but 30 under par around this golf course is what I would class as pretty spectacular, considering how good it is and how tough it is, especially yeah. coming into that back nine. Yeah. And Ollie, who, who helps run <clears throat> part of golfing days, he was saying to me, you know, Dan, you need to get your score. You need to get your score on the front nine and then hold on for hold dear on. life on, on the back nine. And he's not wrong because no. one slip of the club or one one mistake, you're in the water because it is properly tough. It's tight, isn't it? As soon course. as the fairway ends, you've got the water beginning and, you know, make your score on the front nine, hold on to the back nine. You were trying to hold on on the front nine and hold on on the back nine. Right? Yeah. It's been a, what I call a hold on week. A hold on, hold on week. Yeah, a bit of that, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's quite exciting. So I, what we're going to do is we're going to piece together all three rounds of the pro am. Yep. We're going to showcase everything I go through, the emotions, the roller coaster of playing golf in a tournament, uh, filming, trying to keep up with the speed of play. I swear. Um, there's there's a hint of that in there. <laughs> um, but obviously, when you're on a trip like this, yeah. there is, you know, there, there, there's some serious golfers that have played in this event. Oh, proper. Serious, serious golfers. Steve, Steve Steve Tiley, who um, has been on the channel already, he's been playing this week, he's done really, really well. He didn't have his best day today, but he's still in the top sort of three or four players that have, um, that obviously, um, uh, that, that have won round here, shall we say. Um, Matt Court, yeah. 17 under par. That's serious, isn't it? He shot eight under par around this golf course. And I think the thing that makes that so good, not only is it a fantastic score on these courses, but how I feel like the conditions of each golf course were different. Yeah. You know, you've got very kind of, to what I like to think is quite traditional. Yeah. You know, I'm used to this type of grass in the UK, but then you go onto the, the Pinal course. Yeah. And it's completely different. Yeah. And you've got to think differently and you've got to play differently to, you know, to shoot good scores. You do. Talking about uh, Pinal, so you managed nine holes at Pinal, didn't you? Just about, yeah. So we got out here on Sunday, and yeah. it was a bit like it was a bit like um, the first day of any stag do, or probably hen do, <laughs> hen -do. I would imagine, hen -do. or any or any holiday, golfing yeah. holiday. Yeah. Jordan's gone out and got a little excited about his uh, the fact that he's away. It's a Sunday night, I'm and in Portugal. Um, I didn't know Sunday night was party night, but turns out it is in Portugal. 
I, I mean, I, I, I forgot what night of the week it was. I'm not gonna lie to you. And uh, just to be fair, for anyone at home, when you order a drink out here that's a short, just watch very carefully and what take note in? of what goes in. Because apparently a JD Coke in the UK is not a JD and Coke in, in Portugal. It's singles, a quad. Singles are doubles and doubles are quadruples. I don't know what it was, Dan, but there was a lot in that glass. Just, uh, just going back to the actual channel. Okay, yeah. we've had on the channel this week. We've had um, the ladder match. We have had the ladder which match. Which is, you, I mean, you, it's your. I would say the ladder match is kind of like your. It's your baby, isn't it? It's my you, baby. You, you're the one that came up with the idea. I probably smooth moved it into yeah, uh, the laddery bit. Refined it, I'd say, <clears throat> through my tennis days of ladder yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. But the ladder match is kind of your idea, your baby. So, um, Harry going up against Bernie. Yeah. That was, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because, you know, Harry played around Churston. You should think Harry's home ground, you know, he's a Churston well, member, he's been broke. there most of his life, but so is Bernie. And obviously, Bernie is, has been kind of the roller coaster of emotions this year, where he's had some really good rounds in him, and yeah. at the same time, he's had some not so good rounds in him. Um, so, you know, we didn't know what was going to come out of it. Obviously, Bernie has, had kind of pipped him just, just with the, the handicap shots, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but I mean, Harry didn't play badly, did he? No, I don't think he did play badly. And it's like any golf course. Like, if you'd have probably put him over 18 holes, I would imagine Bern, um, Harry closer. would have started to bring it back a little Absolute, bit towards, yeah, yeah. towards the, the second nine. Yeah. Um, but I went out and played in the alliance with Bernie. Um, we went and played, actually, funnily enough, it was at Churston. I haven't played in the Devon, the PJ alliance for a little while, well, certainly not this year. And, and Bernie dragged me out and said, we need to go and play, which is our home course, so you should. Yeah. Um, I was level par, we finished 41, so we were five under. Um, That's a podium, wasn't it? It was a podium? We finished top three, yeah, Yeah. which, which is not bad. I think it's fifth individually. But he, <coughs> like we talk about his handicap, and he's gone from a plus two handicap to now, what, five or six handicap or whatever he's off now, probably five. Um, but I can see, I can, having played with him in a competition, I can kind of see where he's at and, and where he's kind of, struggling a little bit with mm. it all trying to piece together a score for 18 holes as you, we you will see from um the adventures of this week it, it take you know it only takes one or two bad holes and it, your round's gone your if round you don't is, have many shots to play with exactly yeah um but and i, and I kind of see it with him at the moment is like and i think he'll get it back like he wants to try and make an effort to get back to scratch do I think he'll get back to scratch? I'm not sure if he'll get back to scratch, but I think, <laughs> well, I think he'll be a, one, a good one or two handicap yeah, golfer uh, from experience. Should be, should be. He's got all the experience yeah, in the world, hasn't 100%. he? You know, he's been in every situation you can imagine for a, a Devon golf player, hasn't yeah. he? I'm gonna, he doesn't know this yet, but we're gonna try and put together a couple of videos to showcase some of the things that he gets up to yeah. that I think he could probably learn from and, and with his with numbers, as in talking about yeah. the um, you know proximity to the hole type of thing. Um, I'll be really interested to see how that kind of pans out. He, yeah. he, like I say, he probably, well, he, he might watch this video, but he, he, yeah. will, he, he won't know what I'm up to. No. And I'm gonna try and prove it to him in, in maybe some other ways. That, that was actually one of the things I've seen from Alex Clapp this week, actually. He had a post on Instagram of, the top 10 on the PGA Tour yeah. stats, which is like average proximity from XX yardage yeah. compared to outside the top 10. Yeah. And it's, even though all their stats, you know, fairways hit, greens and regulation are very similar, yeah. it's the proximity to the hole by, that's you know, an additional 10 feet closer. Yeah. That's the thing that makes you, that's the thing that sets you apart. It really is. And and I, I've tried to bring that into into my game a little bit more over the over the last sort of few years. And, it, and it's it's helped, you know, it makes me hit driver more often. Yeah. More Being more aggressive off the tee for me, I think is is a good thing in the fact that you can be a bit more aggressive, get it as close as you possibly can, then figure it out kind of from there. But, from there. you know, and that's something that Bernie's gonna have to uh, figure out in Absolutely. his own little world. Yeah. I don't know how we'll do that, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there with it. Are Other we, thing, are we going to talk about what just happened in here? By the way, I'll tell you what. So think let's just this. let's just do that. I'm just going to switch you over now to something that's just happened on the 18th green behind ten us. Ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago, which you have to see. We've just had an incident. 18th green, beautiful 18th green. Kev is going in because one of the pros, unfortunately, is a bit of a tough day, which happens. But he's winged his putter into the middle of the pond so Kevriano is in need of a new Scotty yeah. so he's going in and he's got his sliders uh -huh. oh. here he goes here he goes <laughs> <laughs> all right George 
Yes, Jordan, let everyone on. Is it here? About here? About there, yeah, about there. Come on, Kev, you. Don't attempt to equalise, Dan. <laughs> what you've got to do. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh dear. Are you good? Is more favour? You need where are you where are your goggles? No, but you've only had one effort. Come on. Water's lovely, though. Can't feel it. I'm trying to feel it with my feet. At least, whilst you're in there, at least get those balls. Christ, there's loads of them there. Huh? No way. Good effort, though, Kev. Well done. Well, Kev Moore is. I mean, he's. He, he, <laughs> if that is not the reason to come on a golfing day's trip, Dan, I don't know what is. That is absolutely. It's brilliant. kind of one of those situations where anything goes, isn't absolutely. it? Yeah. Anything goes. Anything we have goes. we have had so much fun on this trip. Like we have brilliant. laughed. I I, th I would. I mean, I know there's lots of teams out there that have also laughed and enjoyed themselves. But from a pram point of view, <laughs> we have laughed this whole this whole time. Uh, karaoke bar. The karaoke. Yeah. I mean. You've seen him in the water, but you see him on a karaoke. It's it's pretty impressive, isn't it? You you wouldn't expect it. Seriously talented man, isn't he? He is a seriously talented man in, in many ways. But obviously, a big thank you to uh, to Mark Campbell who played in the team. Yep. Um, to Dale Collins who played in the team as well and obviously Kev Moore playing in the team as well. We've had a great time. We, yeah. We've not actually, you know, we've not shot the lights out of any golf course that we've played so far on this trip, but we've had an amazing had time, time and, and you know, those guys will enjoy it. If yeah. you're interested in coming on a golfing day's trip like this, um, we're going to do more because I've just spoken to the guys earlier and we were sort of saying, you know, these programs are so, so good and mm. so much fun. Yeah. We've got loads of pros to, to pick from on the channel yeah, that want to bring teams out. What yeah. I want to do is try and do this again and bring three teams out, have three pros, yeah. three teams, and let's just have some fun because it's been yeah, great, isn't it? It has been a great it's trip, been hasn't it? It has been a great trip. Um, you will see, obviously, from the video, I've been working hard on my golf swing, trying to battle my way through it. You've seen from, hopefully, the videos that I put out there with Alex Clapp and the work that we've done with him. I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to get it get it there. I just need to play a bit more. Yeah. I just need to compete exactly. a bit more. And, yeah. and, and when you start hitting the ball better and you gain a bit of confidence in yeah. yourself, that will hopefully leapfrog you to that old Dan that you used to know. You know, that one that used scores. to shoot a few under par every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> you showed you showed some of there it. There was hints week, of it, you? wasn't yeah. there? There was you'll, hints you'll of it. See, you'll see. You'll, you'll see, see next week. You'll there's see hints of. There's hints greatness. of great, greatness. Greatness is the word. Yeah. Absolutely right. This week on the channel, though, Pula Resort, which is um, myself and Rory. Um, fantastic to have, obviously, obviously, Rory Anderson back on the channel. But we're both at Pula, um, which is in Mallorca, which is where we stayed. Beautiful venue, um, absolutely stunning. And, um, and, and me and Rory get together, and I, I would class it as a reunion. It is a bit of a reunion. That's the reunion. We had a, a reunion. little snippet of Rory out on the golf course when we were at um, Alcanada, but having him at Pula, enjoying that, you will, I think you'll enjoy it. And, um, and, and things that people have been waiting for Absolutely. on the channel. Absolutely. Was it as warm there as it was here? Warmer. Warmer. It was a bit warmer. It was it warmer. 15, I mean, 16? we've been in shorts and t-shirt the whole yeah, week. True. Um, it's dropped in temperature a little bit now as the day's finishing off, yeah. but um, Nothing that a good couple of super box won't sort no, out. But I mean, warm to put that up. into perspective, that's how cold the water is that Kevmore's just been in. I wouldn't be jumping in in 
a swimsuit or a wetsuit or whatever no. you call it. No, no, no chance. Absolutely not. No chance. For more information on the Golfing Days trips, just down in the description down below, we'll put some information on there for their website. Yeah. Um, they've got loads of events going on. Obviously, a big thank you to those guys, Ollie and Mark, for putting on what has been Brilliant. an amazing, probably one of the best pro-am trips I've ever been on. Absolutely. Um, which Organized. is a big one because I've done lots of them now. Yeah. And uh, and this is this is as good as it gets, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Extremely well organised. Everyone, you know, everyone's nice. 30 under par. 30 under par, around there. I think, is it December? December, they're advertising trips for next year? Is yeah, the December, they're going to be putting in some more trips for this. So, yeah. uh, like I say, down in the description, we'll have all the information for you. Absolutely. I think that uh, concludes our Sunday morning show, George. Absolutely Anything else done. that you want to bring to the party, other than the fact that you probably want an early night because we've got another big day of filming tomorrow? 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, so I think it's an early bedtime today. Early bed. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, we'll see everybody on the next Sunday morning show. Thank you very much for watching. Well done, George. See you later.